you've probably heard the Colonel Sanders story over and over again. And you're also going to be thinking, what can KFC actually help me with when it comes to fat loss? Well, it can help you with a lot. You see, Colonel Sanders was 65 years old. For starters, so many 40, 50, 60, 70 year olds stop worrying about their health. They just think it's too late. They think they can't change anything. What actual, what actual impact is it gonna have if I make a difference, make a change now? It's too late. Now, Colonel Sanders, he was 65 years old running a restaurant and he was getting good feedback for his chicken recipe, his Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe, his secret spices rubs, his herbs, his blend that was kept a complete secret. And he retired and thought, hang on, this doesn't have to be it. I've got my secret recipe, I've got good feedback. I can get this around to the masses. And he tried it. He went to local restaurants and he got told it's not good enough, it's not going to work. He went to more restaurants, more places where they served chicken and said no, Colonel Sanders is not going to work. He tried and he tried and he tried and he tried again. He was consistent, he was persistent, just like you need to be with your fat loss. Fat loss is hard, I get it. When you look at the statistics and break down what actually counts as success, it's a very blurred vision. And when you have someone like Weight Watchers or something like that, in essence, it's about 6%. 6% what they class as success. Six people out of 100 will actually be successful when it comes to fat loss. One of the biggest weight, weight loss companies in the world. One of the most well known. But let's get back to KFC, shall we? Because it's finger licking good after all. So Colonel Sanders was getting rejected and he was trying. And as I said, he was being persistent. And then suddenly someone, someone said yes. Something clicked and he got accepted. This wasn't the 10th restaurant, this wasn't the 20th, 30th, even the 100th or 200th restaurant. This was 1,009 attempts before he was successful. 1,009 attempts. Then a few years later, he sold the KFC brand. He was still working on the side with it, but he sold it for $2 million. Back in the day, that was a lot of money. And this is where you need to be with your fat loss because I get it. You've failed. I've failed. We've all failed when it comes to an attempt to lose weight. An attempt to get healthier. God, I can't even tell you the amount of times I failed before I started getting persistent and consistent with it over time. Now failure is only actually failure if you stop. If you stop getting back on. If you've had a bad meal, cool, I get it. If you've had a cheat, if you want to call it that, I get it. You may feel bad about it. But remember, you only have one mouthful away from getting back on track. And that means a lot. Because we can't change the past. You don't want to take laxatives and shit it all out or anything like that. Accept it. Some people mess up. Some people fail. Get back on track. Get the consistency going. Be persistent with it. And if you have to try 1,009 times before you get healthy, before you start feeling great, then try 1,009 times. If you don't, if you don't want to try 1,009 times, and you want the next time to be the last time you try, go over to revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash let's talk. Apply for my one-to-one -one coaching and we'll see if you're a fit. Because I just hate, I just hate people being frustrated without seeing the results. 
If you want those results, I will look forward to speaking to you soon.